Hey bunnies! Hi honey bun. Hey guys, how you guys doing? How you guys been? I hope you guys been having a fabulous week. And um, welcome to Grace Supporting. And I want to thank you guys for subscribing. Keep on subscribing. <laughs> All right, so today, right, I want to talk about something that I've just been noticing is happening in the church. So today I want to talk about church drama. Cha, I need to know what is happening in this church. Do you guys go to church? Comment in the um in the comments and let me know if you guys go to church. Is there any church drama in your church? Please let me know. I would love to know. All right, so today I want to talk about a few different incidents that's happening in the church that I feel do not really get a lot of highlight, you know, because it's so much other drama going on that people seem to just push these other topics to the side, okay? But I'm here to scoop, scoop, scrape it on up. So today, the first thing I want to talk about, let me ask you guys a question, right? <laughs> it's really funny. Have you guys ever heard of prayer panties? <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of prayer panties? No? Yes? T listen, comment and let me know. Have you ever heard of prayer panties? Okay. Let me explain to you exactly what I'm talking about. So, like I was just saying, today's topic is about church drama and the nonsense that a lot of these pastors are getting up on the pew or on the pulpit or in the stadium or on the platform, whatever you call it, and they're preaching in the name of the Most High and they're saying that they're pastors, but in reality, they're pimps. Oh, my God, oh, hallelujah. You understand? They are pimps. They are pimping you guys. They're pimping the church and they're pimping the name of the most high. So this first story I want to give you guys about is called the prior panties. <laughs> yes, you heard me correctly. There was the young, I'm going to let you see the video as well. The thing is in the video, you're not going to see everything, but you're just going to have to listen. You understand? We're going to put on our listening ears. So we're going to get back to the prayer panties last. They say save the best for last, child. But the first thing I want to talk about is Leandra Johnson. Is that her name? Yeah, Leandra Johnson. You know, she had won the Sunday Best thing. Remember her? She had won the Sunday Best competition. And she has an immaculate, her voice, oh. It's like, oh, it's like angels. Her voice is really something. You should check her out on YouTube. But the reason why I want to bring her up and I'm going to knock everything down is because she won the competition and she's in the church and she came out and said, F Christianity. Ooh! You ain't here for me. I'm just letting you know what she said because she said it. And she's basically saying, you know, I'm not messing with Christianity because people in the church, it's a big business. We know that, um, Leandra. Tell us something we don't know. You understand? So she's basically saying, listen, you guys, it's all a business. Don't trust these people. Why can't you guys have what some of these people have? And she has a point right there. You know, but to come out and just use the F-bomb and then put Christianity with it, I thought that was disrespectful. They said she had a little drinking problem. A little drinking problem. So I don't know if she was drunk, high, or both, okay? But nevertheless, I thought that was disrespectful to come out and just slander, slatter, is it slatter or slander, one of them, the whole Christianity because you're having an issue or because things didn't go your way. What made her come out and talk so bad about the church? You know, I thought that was very rude and I thought that was very disrespectful, you know? And I heard that they canceled her for that. And I, I'm gonna be honest with you, even if she's feeling the way, there's always a way to do things, you know? And if you're a part of the, the God and you, if a part of God and the church and the ministry, you can't just come out and say, well, F the church, F everybody, the F bomb is just dropping everywhere. You cannot do that that there has to be a better way for you to go about it so leandra we're just gonna put you at the bottom of the prayer list 
because uh, we have other things to attend to, like the prayer pen. It's moving along. My God. So, the next thing I want to talk about is the prayer panties. Child, listen here and listen good. This pastor, right, he was saying if you have an issue in being a hoe, he can cure you with the prayer panties. My God. This one lady went to him, and I don't know if he knew he was being taped, whatever, right? So, she was videoing him, and in the video, he's directing her on what to do with the prayer panties. Let's take a quick look at the video. Like I said, it's not a lot of visual, so you have to listen, and let's hear what was said in the video. Take a look, and I'll come right back. Remember to subscribe. I, I do, I do, but let's go through the process and let's just see what happens. So pull them off of me and I can help you. Okay, let me help you from here. Ooh. Okay, step out of them. All right, now, and so what this does, and, and I'm always real discreet with your regular panties. So I folded them, I laid them there. And like I said, what these do, these are prayer panties. And by me touching them and helping you put them on, and the way we do it, this will help. So you just keep that in mind. Step into these. Okay? Put your leg in. Yes. Yeah, this is good. Now, and allow me to pull them up. Yes, this is good. All right. And it don't seem that you need a, a Lane Bryant pair or another. And, and what, I, what I'm doing here is just touching your knees because if they are not, if they are not, you know, touched and stuff, you end up using those and you end up going into it, you know, your own ministry there. You don't need to do that. But yes, Lord. All right. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay, so she said she was a hoe. I was a hoe. And I am it. Remember that song by Lynn Marie, whatever her name is? So she said she was a hoe. Now, one thing I will give her credit for is um, admitting what she is. I'll give her credit for that because there's a lot of people in the church that are hoes. They're getting pregnant for the pastor. They got a side baby and they're preaching. So I do give her credit for admitting that she's a hoe. But there's different ways you go about stop being a hoe. Just to stop being a hoe. That is, I don't think it's that hard, is it? You know, is it an addiction to be a hoe? I don't know. I, don't ask me. <laughs> I ain't no hoe. <laughs> so listen, he said he had the prior panties. This is a pastor. Let's put that in the forefront of this conversation. He said, I have the prayer panty and you put these on and I'm going to rub your knees and you know, ooh, ooh, you heard that little sound he made because she was basically from the waist down naked in front of him. And I'm just thinking to myself, this is a pastor. This is somebody who's getting on the pulpit and preaching the word of God. This is what we're doing. We having prayer panties. <laughs> I have to take a second because sometimes you hear things and I, I did this research already. So obviously I've heard it, but now that I'm talking about it with you guys and I'm hearing it again, I'm just like, yo, this is so disrespectful. And this is in the house of the, of the Lord. Okay. So it just lets me know that there's a lot of foolishness going on in church. A lot of hypocritical, it's a lot of hypocrites in church. A lot. But remember, many are called, but the chosen are few, 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 few. So listen, what did you guys think about the prayer panties? Have you guys ever heard of prayer panties? I've never, ever heard this term before. I must honestly say that. This is all new to me. I said, wait, did he say prayer panties? Or did he say get on your knee and pray without your panties? I mean, what? Oh God, <laughs> let's, let's, 
comment guys comment and let me know what you think because this one here took me for a loop i'm gonna be honest with you this one here took me for a loop because from the prayer penny to leandra johnson going on a viral rant it's like this is all in church it sounds like the days of our life one of those so proper you, you know it doesn't sound like something that it would be associated with the church and you know it, it lets me know that it's a lot of people in these churches i'm gonna tell you guys right now you need to get to know god for yourself on a spiritual level okay don't be so religion, religion, religion. Get to God, get to know God on a spiritual level. Because remember, God is a spirit. And he said, worshiping him in spirit and in truth. So when you worship him in spirit, he'll reveal the truth. It's very simple what he said to you. So I'm not understanding why people are just so re religion bound, everything. Oh, I'm a Christian, I'm a Catholic, I'm a Hebrew, I'm a this. I mean, you know, it's 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 too much. So I think that man, that pastor needs to step down ASAP, A to the sap, and he needs to have a seat somewhere, him and the prayer panties. And if you want to be a hoe in the church, um, don't be a hoe in the church. If you want to be a hoe, I can't stop you from being a hoe because sometimes that's your calling. Sometimes some of y'all are called to be hoes, you know, I'm, I'm not going to. Drive you from your calling, child. But what I am going to say is, don't be a hoe in the church. I, I think that's very disgusting. You can't be sleeping with the pastor, and then after Sunday um, service, you're hugging his wife. You know, I, I know, I knew a girl, no lie, I will never call her name. I knew a girl who was a holy roly you know the holy rollies if you say anything they'll say no girl you know i'm a christian you know i'm up oh i don't mm -mm, i can't go to the dance oh i can't listen to that music oh i can't wear those jeans oh i can't wear lipstick oh i can't wear earrings oh i can't get none of my eyebrows done ooh, 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 ooh. you understand you can't do nothing you understand and then two three days later you see them on the club doing the dutty wine talking about back it up back it up you understand so it's like it just be a lot of hypocrites in the church and she was a holy roly one of them holy roly christians and come to find out she was sleeping with the pastor <laughs> my god hallelujah you know so i just be like what, what listen i have such a fear of the lord i respect him on so many levels i could never when I go to church, I, 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 I watch what I wear. I don't wear no makeup. Yo, I'm very, very respect, respect, respect. You understand? So I'm not understanding how a lot of people, they go to church and they just do whatever they want. Their pants is so tight. You can see the crack. You can see everything. You can see from the rooter to the tutor. And I think that's so disrespectful. You understand? So if you're going to go to church, you don't need to dress like you go into the club down the block. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. And they always say, oh, if you want to find a good woman, go to church. That's not true. No. You can find a good woman in the supermarket. You need to find a woman who respects herself and who is a God-fearing woman. That's what you need to find. Not a woman in the church because in the church, they are having prayer panties meeting. Okay? <laughs> Child, but leave your comment and let me know. Okay, so that was that. Another thing that I want to talk about is <laughs> I'm going to call it the, the, what is it? The zip line pastor. That's what I'm going to call it. The zip line pastor, right? So this one pastor, he was another one that got really got on my skin, right? And he, what he said, I'm going to show you a video of him. The way he, his entrance in the church was everything. And when I saw his entrance, I said, you know what? Mm -mm. Nah, this, 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 this took the cake for me. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk more about it. Take a look at Zip Line Pastor and his entrance into the church. To come when the sky is cracked and Jesus Christ comes again and every eye will see him when he come again. 
So here's our question for you this morning, brothers and sisters. The simple question is this right here. Are you ready? Are you ready for his return? Amen. <laughs> Are you ready for his return? Brothers and sisters, are you ready today for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ? Okay, bunnies, 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 bunnies. Is this acceptable? Is this acceptable to you guys? If you go to a church and you see the pastor coming in through the zip line, are you going to be like, oh, wow. I, I would feel like I'm in a concert. The only thing that would be left for him to do is, yo, give him the mic. Pastor about to kill it. Talk about flying high. Talk about praising high. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm just thinking to myself, where do they, why is this happening in the church? Why can't you walk in, have a seat, and preach the word of the most high? Why are you zip lining in the church i know people who zip line when they go on vacations you know if you why are you zip lining in the church and then you see when the, the spirit turned him left and then the spirit turned him right and then they had to help him down but god was not pleased okay god was not pleased he lucky he ain't fall mid-air because if i look up it's a bird it's a plane no it's pastor y'all you know like, what? Zip lining in the church. Then he going to say, oh, when the Lord come, you don't know how he... Well, we see you coming, Pastor, and you looks the fool. Please come down. You know, you hear flying from rooter to tutor, and the doorknob on the front of the door still haven't been fixed yet. <laughs> okay? How about that? So I just I just thought that was a little bit, a little key, you know, because as we're talking about church mess, I just thought that was a bit much. And his, his guys on the stage had to help him turn him around and like, okay, this, this, is, this is a bit much. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I just thought that was funny. And something else that I want to talk about in the church, because we're talking about church mess, right? Now, there was this guy. He is six feet, eight inches. That's a very tall young man, right? Very tall. You can't miss him, right? And he was also a pastor. I'm going to show you a video of him and what he was accused of. Take a look and then we're going to continue to talk. It's a mess in these church. This, that's a shame. Take a look. Chinup State pastor has pleaded guilty to sex crimes with a minor. Philip Buxton pleaded guilty to two counts of second degree criminal sexual conduct. Deputies say a victim told investigators she and Buxton had sexual relations in 2015 at his home in Cherokee County. She was 13 years old at the time. The girl became pregnant twice and had two abortions. A judge sentenced him to 20 years, suspended to 10 years and five years probation. Buxton is required to register as a sex offender. Okay, bunnies. Okay, okay. So like I was saying, the mess in the church is on a whole different level. You're telling me that this pastor, let's talk, let's talk like we're sitting in, the, in, the, in my living room. You're telling me that this pastor is in the church, right? He's getting the girls, the young girls pregnant, and he has two kids. You understand? So you're trying to tell me he got these people pregnant and the spirit didn't tell nobody to say, hey, the spirit is telling me something ain't right. Something ain't right with pastor. Pastor Philip, something ain't right with you. I just, and that's what I'm talking about. If you guys are spiritual, spiritual base, the spirit will talk to you. Nobody ain't get the spirit. Y'all could at least call, you know, call somebody and say, hey, Pastor Philip is out here getting these young girls pregnant and telling them to have abortions. That is crazy. Are you guys listening to me? That is crazy. You, you understand what I'm saying to you? He's out here having side babies, pimping the church, and then coming up to the pew talking about ain't God good. <laughs> oh, my God. A lot of these people, right? You got to be careful. They are false prophets that come in the most high name. They ain't no Louis Vuitton. They Pooey Vuitton. You understand? They're not no Gucci. They Fucci. 
You understand? They're not the real deal. They're not the real deal. So you guys have to know who are you guys listening to. And you can't just blame the pastor for everything. Because some of you guys have to hold yourself accountable too. Now the last one I want to take a look at is this one. Now this one took the cake, took the bakery and everything else. Everything else. Just, just, just take a look at this video about this pastor and, and what he had to say. And then we're going to wrap it up. Take a look. Good evening, Paul. Pastor George Gregory is accused of engaging in lewd behavior inside of his car late last night in New Homestead. Someone saw the alleged behavior, then called 911. When police arrived, they say they found two men in a car on Beachland Street. Inside, police spotted a man in the front seat completely naked and bound with nylon rope. Police say Gregory was in the back seat. When police asked Gregory what was going on, they say he told them, quote, we were just playing. The man in the front passenger seat told police the behavior going on inside of the car was consensual. Police questioned Gregory some more. They say he stated, quote, they meet up from time to time to play with each other. Oh, my God. Listen to me. Every house have rules and the house of God has rules. He was a pastor and he said they were meeting up just to play. Is this a play date? Pastors have play dates with random, with random men? They have play dates? I didn't even know that. So what is happening in, this, in these churches? What from Leandra Johnson, right? Coming out and saying the Christianity is whatever, whatever people. And she even claimed that one of the pastors also had somebody on the choir had an abortion. Okay. Then you you got you have the guy coming in the zip liner. Then you had the prayer panties. Now you have the homosexual man pastor there. What is happening in these churches? Please leave your comments below. He just took me for a cake when he said there was only plain. That that took me for a, I said, you know what? No, that's that's the fool. That is the fool right there. Listen, guys, let me tell you, all jokes to the side. Before y'all go run following pastors, everybody that's everybody who said they're called and ordained to be a pastor, it's a lot of calls. I get a lot of calls sometimes, and all of them ain't always from the source you want it to be from. A lot of people are getting bill collectors and thinking it's the most high. A lot of y'all are getting calls from the bill collectors and y'all thinking, oh, I'm, I've been called by God. No, you have a bill that has been passed due. You understand? And my whole thing is, don't be so quick to follow behind these pastors. Get to know God for yourself. Get to know him on a spiritual level. Get to know him like that. Once you know him for yourself like that, then you will not be confused by false prophets because that's what a lot of these people are out here. They're false prophets. They come in his name. They even cast spells in his name, um, take out demons in his name, but they're not his own. You understand? And I just wanted to bring that to you. You know, it was just something light was just talking about. It's called church drama. If you have any drama in your church, please leave a comment below and let me know. If there's a topic you would like for me to talk about, please let me know, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to help support this channel, here is the cash app information. I thank you guys so much. Everything you do. For Grace Reporting and this channel is well appreciated. I promise you. We are building over here and it takes everyone. Okay. So I just want to thank you guys so very much for pulling up. And this was definitely interesting to me. I learned a lot. I never knew what prayer panties were. Now I know. So I know not to go to that church. <laughs> so I just want to thank you guys so much. Have a really great day, guys. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, bunnies. Bye, honey bun. <laughs> Later, guys. Take care. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye.